you know, like for example, the one play that we threw a screen, it was a screen to the side, you know, it was defended first, he held it and then put a little more air on it, it was still a positive play. So those are all things that are just really good quarterbacking. And uh, he's, he's growing as, you know, in front of our eyes. And today was a really good growth for him to be able to go out there and execute the way he did with a 103 passer rating uh, and be able to get those drives going at the end, um, you know, to put us in position to win the game. And in his big picture trajectory, Caleb, uh, what development have you seen in the last two weeks? Just uh, really good communication um, throughout the whole offense. Um, you know, the offensive staff, uh, the player to player communication is really good. You know, getting to the right solution uh, during the course of the week, asking great questions um, from his teammates and also of his coaches uh, to get to the clear answer. Um, and I think that's been outstanding the last couple weeks. And you can see his growth uh, in those in the last two games. What do you see as Thomas's effect on that? Yeah, it's really really a collaborative effort, and you know Thomas is leading that leading that side, and I think it's really good. Um, you know, in terms of that, you know, I really believe that you know Simo and Thomas are working together with the protections and the run game. You know, BD and and uh, you know uh, Kerry Joseph, you know, all those guys are working together to come up with a really good answer to be able to put our guys into the space that we need to get them into uh, so they can work. And uh, you saw that today, and we got some good explosives out of it. I mean, some of the catches that, you know, Rome made in traffic, you know, Keenan made in traffic, and then, you know, that big play that, you know, DJ made at the end there. And you know, so, and again, you know, Swift, you know, continues to do a good job. And, you know, and then Cole, you know, Cole's really, you know, getting involved. And when you involve all those players, all those, all that talent, um, it's, it's, uh, it's a good product on the field. Matt, specifically with that big play to DJ to set up the field goal for the offense as a whole, what, do you, what did you see on that sequence, obviously, with the no timeout? Yeah, they were playing back a little bit. I only had three guys back there, um, you know, and they were playing, you know, more of a, uh, looked like more of a sideline deal. Uh, but again, the in cut there was 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 uh, open and a, a really good job of stepping up and delivering there. This is the third game, this is the third game you lost on the last play of the game. Yeah. How, as a coach, challenging is it to keep talking about culture without having a team that's beginning to go into games expecting something bad to happen in those situations? Yeah, I don't. I don't think we're, we we expect things like that to happen. I just believe that we got we have to execute better down the stretch. We got to coach better down the stretch. Um, it's it's an everybody thing. And uh, again, is it difficult? Yeah. It is difficult. You know, you lose three games like this. I think it is difficult. But again, you, you got to you got to be tough. You know, you got to be tough. This league is is not uh, going to feel sorry for you. And we got to go and get ready to play Detroit. And that's important that you own everything in front of everybody um, in terms of your teammates. And that's important that you do that. And then uh, work to find good solutions. You know, and us the coaches got to put them in position. And uh, we got to do a great job of finding the right answers and uh, to execute. Two more when the, uh, the final drive, first two plays of those final drives the past two weeks. Are you seeing something there that may be an issue, or is it just an execution thing where they're not locked in? Yeah, I would just have to go back and look um, at it, you know, because again, it's always an everybody thing. You know, it's uh, route disciplines, it's getting the ball out on time, it's protection, like I always say. So it'll be one of those three things, and uh, we have to take a good look at it. What happened on the second? What just... happened on the second overtime? Caleb stood back there forever with the ball. What, what was the break? What didn't? click there yeah like I said it's one of three things right it's one of three things it's you see the route discipline it's getting the ball out and it's protection so I'm gonna have to go look at it and see where that is but I, I know there was good protection on that he had plenty of time so I have to go back and look Thanks,